welcome to A Pastor's Perspective. I'm Ken Gray, serving here at Calvary Life Family Worship Center in Cheshire, Connecticut. Today, our devotion continues in the book of Acts, chapter 27. Paul has boarded the ship. They're in danger. He had warned them not to go forward, but they listened to the experts and their logic. And as a consequence, they ended up in a lot of trouble. And now that the, the, uh, the danger that they're facing has become really intense, Paul begins to speak to them and says in verse 21, when they had gone a long time without food, then Paul stood up in their midst and said, men, you ought to have followed my advice and not to have set sail for, from Crete and incurred this damage and loss. Yet now I urge you to keep up your courage for there will be no loss of life among you, but only the ship. For this very night, an angel of God, to whom I belong and whom I serve, stood before me saying, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar, and behold, God has granted all you all those who are sailing with me. Therefore, keep up your courage, men, for I believe, God, that it will turn out exactly as I have told you. You see, Paul was confident in God's direction, but the people had not been confident in God's direction. And as a consequence, they listened to the experts and they listened to their logic and they had a majority vote saying, go forward. But in this case, as we see, it ended up in great danger. Paul warns them that they should have listened. This was, you might say, Paul's I told you so moment. As a consequence, things became worse and worse. They tried a variety of things to try to save themselves. And some sailors even attempted to abandon the ship on a small boat. But Paul warned them that if they did abandon the ship, they would all die. And so uh, they listened to Paul and they cut loose the, the little boat and they stayed on the ship. They began to eat after 14 days of fasting and, they, and in seeking the Lord for their safety and their survival. And as a consequence, uh, God's favor continued upon them, though the ship would be eventually lost. They found that they were coming close uh, to an island. They were uncertain as to how to approach that island. So what they did is they cut loose all of the anchors. They cut loose all of the cargo that remained, the food supply that they had and everything they had. And they were even going to kill all the prisoners, but because the centurion now wants to save Paul because he sees his value, he said, no, we're not, gonna, we're not going to kill the prisoners. We're going to keep them all alive. And so they let them stay alive and told them if they could swim to jump ship right now, otherwise to hang in there and take hold of something in the ship. And as a result of this, every single life on that ship was saved because they listened and heeded the voice of God rather than the voice of experts. You see, it's sometimes important that we listen to God's voice. It's not sometimes, it's all the time important that we listen to God's voice. But sometimes God's voice is at odds with the experts. It's at odds with our logic and it's at odds with the majority. And if we fail to obey God's voice, we are headed for certain disaster. But if we do as these soldiers did and as these sailors did and listen to the experts, don't wait like they did for an I told you so minute to start listening. Because at that point, we suffer great loss. So let me pray with you today that you will prioritize God's voice and God's word above the experts, above logic, and above the majority. Lord, we thank you, God, that we have you to turn to in the storms of life. And no matter what's going on around us, that we need to adhere, Lord, to your voice and to your word. And Lord, even at times we need to ignore the experts, to ignore what seems to be right and to ignore what the majority is saying and adhere to your counsel in our lives. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and thank you again for listening to A Pastor's Perspective. 
we would like to invite you to Calvary Life Family Worship Center in Cheshire on East Johnson Avenue, 174 East Johnson Avenue, Sunday morning service at 10 a.m. Look forward to seeing you.